uh, congestion getting down there. It was a little bit late. It was two or three minutes before I got there and I missed the first goal. Corinthians took the lead. Steve Whitley it was with, I believe, a superb free kick and uh, gave them the lead. But then when I arrived, it seemed to go pear-shaped for them because I know Richard alongside me here was uh, at the game because uh, for 15 minutes or so, it was all rushing. And uh, Adam Killier pulled off some absolutely superb saves to sort of keep the score as it was. And then, um, you know, when Russian got the equaliser, and it was a brilliant goal, it was a cross from the left-hand side. And Stevie Riding, who's all left foot, I thought he was going to try and bang it with his right, but he brought it down, foiled the uh, centre-half, pulled it to his left-hand side, and he's got such a sweet left peg on him, and curled it in and made it 1-1. And it seemed to spur Corinthians on a little bit then, and then they got a penalty shout. It was definitely a penalty. It was inside the box. He was brought down. And Conor Gorman, who's so cool in those positions, stepped up, took the penalty. But Dean Kearns uh, went to his left-hand side, but he's such a big uh, keeper that he managed to uh, stop the ball going in. The ball came back out to uh, Connor and uh, he ballooned it and I think it ended up in Port St Mary. Uh, so uh, it was a, a chance for Corinthians where they sort of lost their way a little bit, but they were starting to play really good and it was Steve Whitley down the right-hand side. Brilliant piece of football by him, crossed it over and it was a real awkward cross for Sean Doyle to deal with and Sean just sort of rubbernecked it, bounced it down and, and got it in past Dean Kearns to make it 2-1, uh, 2-1 two -one, two -one it was at half-time and... I just thought then, certainly with uh, the players that they've got there, Dan Hattersley, Josh Kelly, that uh, Russian would just keep push, push and push. But unfortunately, Dan Hattersley got injured and Dan went off later on. But Corinthians started to play some really good football. And then it was um, a ball that seemed to elude everyone. Uh, I, I don't think anybody thought it was going to stay in play, but it came out to uh, Sean Doyle and Sean Doyle managed to put it past the, uh, the goalkeeper and that made it 3-1. It was looking safe then. Uh, but Dan Simpson, he had a great game today, just like Luke Murray. And uh, Dan Simpson, again, on the on the fourth one, a ball through the middle. Simo's all left foot as well. And I thought he was falling to the ground and looked if he was tripping. And he just managed to smash the top of the ball and it caught the goalkeeper out, bounced and went in. Uh, but the fifth one, to me, was, was sheer class. Um, you know, it was, again, a great ball out to the right-hand side to uh, Josh uh, Ridings. And uh, Josh managed to uh, get past his full-back crossed it in and there was uh, Dan Simpson with his favourite left foot to uh, fire it past the goalkeeper 5-1 fair result in the end you wouldn't have said that would have been a 5-1 game looking at half time and I think uh, Richard felt the same did you feel it was um, sort of very even up until the 45 minutes I think so yeah I think uh, I think Russian did well they pushed quite hard but I think Corinthians just had a bit too much quality in the end I think Dan Simpson and Steve Whitley up top and like you say Luke I think those three are brilliant up top, so I think they thoroughly deserve the win overall, yeah. There you go. Uh, we, know, we know when it clicks for Corinthians, it really does click. Uh, they've got some fantastic attacking players. And you have to say, they've had a bit of a disappointing season in terms of the Canada Live Premier League this season. They're the holders of the FA Cup, and boy, would they love to go on and retain that trophy.